In today's video, we will be learning how to make a realism tattoo design in Photoshop. We're designing an upper arm tattoo today, and there's three important sections to focus on. That is the shoulder, the middle, and the t-shirt line. So the first thing we're gonna do is find our reference images for the three focus areas. I'm going on Google for this, but there are tons of resources. We also find tons of AI generated images, which are fantastic for realism tattoos. Now I like to freehand a lot of my realism stuff so I don't need reference images that that accurate. So I'm just going to use the snipping tool which is Windows, Shift and S. If you didn't know that one guys, leave a like if you can. We are now going to open up our reference images in Photoshop. So I've got three, I've got the upper, the middle and then I've also got the t-shirt line. You can see here I've saved a few different portraits. Uh, decided to go with this one in the end. So I'm going to load that up into Photoshop and I'm then going to upload my other saved images as well. So I've got everything ready in the Photoshop application, ready to manipulate the images. So you can see here I've gone with this headdress in the end, I've gone with this portrait, and I've gone with this uh, necklace. So we're going to create our workspace, so we're going to do this in A4, because uh, that's how we're going to print off our design. And I'm going to select all by using Control A. I'm going to copy and paste this into my workspace, I'm going to resize by transforming Control and T and I'm going to repeat this for all my other images. I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to remove the parts of the image that I do not want. So uh, you can take your time with this, you can be as accurate as you like. So you can see here I've got the neck, the portrait and I've left the earrings in as well. Now I am just going to copy and paste the necklace which is an important part as I say it's the t-shirt line, it's the part everyone sees when people are wearing the t-shirt. I'm going to manipulate the images by just hovering that over the neck and I'm going to blend that in with the eraser tool so that I can uh, create this into one single image. So you can be as accurate and detailed as you like with this, just use the eraser tool to merge your images and blend them together, I'm not going to reposition things, resize them, play around with it until you're happy with the way that it looks. Now my tattoo design is a black and grey realism tattoo, so I will just need to add a black and white layer to my design so that all the images are now converted into black and grey. Do that using the adjustments on the right hand side. Now I'm going to copy and paste my upper part which is the Native American headdress. Also got a bit of a lion in there as well. And you can see I'm just placing that sort of over the other portrait and I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase the eyes and erase the parts that I don't want so that I can get one cohesive design. As I say, you can be as accurate as you like with this. You can spend as much time as you want. I like to freehand a lot of my stuff, so I'm just more interested in getting the right outlines. But as I say, work however you want to work. So you guys can take as long as you want with this. Um, but a couple other tools that I want to tell you about is the warp tool. This is a fantastic tool for molding and merging those images together, just making them fit in a bit nicer with your reference images. So warp tool, right click on the image and click warp. Other tools there as well. We're just going to finalize now our design. We're just going to clean it up, get it looking the way that we want. Bear in mind the body part as well, all different shapes and sizes. So make sure that is going to work. And the next step is to adjust the tones of the layers. So we want to make sure that all our layers are the same tone. You want to go a bit lighter generally with black and gray because when you do print the design, it will come out dark and you want to give yourself as much detail as possible. Sign the design as well if you like and you can then present this to your client. Um, bonus tip as well is AI face swapping. So sometimes this will be integrated into Photoshop if you have the right plugins. You can do this manually as well. It's also good to just do everything manually. You just got a bit more control over what you're doing. Magic Eraser, fantastic tool just for removing backgrounds, removing parts of your design that you don't want. I always like to give a representation to my clients. So what I'm gonna do is get a generic tattoo image from Google. I'm going to manipulate my tattoo design on top of that so that I can then send that to my client and give them an exact visual representation of what that tattoo is going to look like. This is fantastic for locking in those clients. So just going into uh, very simple, just popping that on top and then I'm going to use the eraser tool, just clean up the edges and uh, have a fantastic design to show to my clients. Also just want to make sure you're making the background black and grey as well. So there you go, that is a fantastic uh, upper arm tattoo design if I say so myself. Took me five minutes to make, super easy, 
guys if you got help from this just uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions and leave a like subscribe as well if you can got tons more tutorials like this on the channel have a great day and i'll see you next time